now once we know that uh, what is an diagram a graph which gives energy of the electron in semiconductors we have seen the material around us which is conducting current and on the basis of its characteristic whether it allows current or it does not allow current we have classified and that classification is visible with graphs so we will first see this is electron energy electron energy the height will show it for conductor for we will start with insulators in insulators there are certain electrons which have got this energy level this 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 and there are so many levels within it and electrons are having either this or this or this this much energy are there please remember there is no box in which electrons are placed no electrons are always there in the atom and we are talking about only energy of these electrons energy of these electrons electrons are either here or the electrons have come out here so we have discussed that this has got more energy and these have got less energy because of less energy they cannot become free and this we have given the name as free electron and this we have given the name as valence electron free electron valence electron and there is another name for this what is that that this is doing conduction so we can call it conduction electron its energy is more that is why it has come out and now it is not no more doing valency work so it is free it is doing conduction so it is conduction electron and it has got more energy so if i want to show its place in the energy graph it will be higher in the graph so that will be higher in the graph these electrons are lower in the graph so these are the valence electrons and this is valence band okay if there is an electron which has got energy to conduct that will be here we have learned so many thing how many energy levels are here answer 4n you know this how many levels are here 4n how many are the total electrons 4n so electrons can exist here exist there in case of insulator all the electrons are in the valence band and there is no electron here what does that mean there are no free electrons and conduction of electricity is done by free electrons so this material is not able to conduct electricity that's why we call it uh, insulator okay now if we want that this electron we give it energy and it should be able to conduct can we we can try how much energy we have to give to one electron of insulator so that its energy becomes so much that it will be able to conduct that means it has to pass through this what we call this energy gap between valence electron and conduction electron there is difference of energy that difference of energy is shown by this gap and we have seen in the insulators this energy gap is larger than 3 electron volt you know what is electron volt 
वन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट इज ए मेजरमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी विच इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस नाइनटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन इंटू वन वोल्ट सो नाउ दिस इज जूल सो वन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू दिस प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस बिकॉज नाउ इन ऑल द चैप्टर्स वेदर इट इज एटम न्यूक्लियस इलेक्ट्रॉन and other chapters where we have to use very small amount of energies we will use the unit electron volt so one electron volt is this and we will keep on changing the units of the energy okay so if energy given to one electron is more than 3 electron volt then it will go to the conduction and it will start conducting the electricity but in insulator can we convert an insulator into conductor by giving so much energy answer theoretically it appears to be possible but practically it is not possible because the number of electrons is very very large if each electron we are giving 3 electron volt energy it is lot of energy let us say in 1 cubic meter if the number of electrons are more than 10 to the power 28 so many electrons are there and we have to give them energy 3 electron volt so much electron volt convert it into joule so this will be nearly 9 3 into 10 to the power 9 joule 9 zero after 10 das ke baad 9 zero lagane hain what a large quantity of heat is required to convert it suppose we give it उतनी हीट जब हम इसको देंगे गरम करेंगे तो इसके पहले कि वो इतनी हीट एब्जॉर्ब करेगा वो इतना गरम हो जाएगा इट विल बी सो हॉट दैट इट विल रीच द इग्निशन पॉइंट ऑफ दैट मटेरियल और वो जलना शुरू हो जाएगा सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू कन्वर्ट एन इंसुलेटर ए गुड इंसुलेटर इन टू ए कंडक्टर थियोरिटिकली येस इफ इट इज नॉट सच ए गुड इंसुलेटर वी कैन गिव energy equal to 3 electron volt and this will become a conductor because it will have free electron so all these materials in which energy gap is larger than 3 electron volt we cannot convert them into conductors practically so these are insulators then there are certain materials whose energy gap is less than 3 electron volt 1.5 0.6 Two electron volt, two point two electron volt. That much energy we can give before they burn out. Then what will happen if they give so much energy? They will convert into conductors because the electrons will leave it. So for them the diagram will be: this is their valence band boundary. and this is their conduction band now this gap which is smaller than this this energy gap this energy gap in this case it is less than 3 electron volt and this is energy what we can give there are certain material which have got energy gap 1.6 there are some which have got only 0.6 so we can give them energy very well and their electron their electron will leave this place and go here leaving behind a hole this whole theory we have understood so uh if you have not read hole okay we will do it we are going to do it so in this way the electrons can jump here their energy is so much this action is represented in the graph like this that these electrons are there so in this what happens valence band is partially filled
this is also conduction band conduction band is also partially filled and such material is semi conductor now see this third one this third one this is metal or conductors in the metal we have found that these electrons which are moving they have a very large amount of energy okay the range is very high up to this much all electrons here which are doing the work of valency have so much of energy these are the electrons having okay now if i check this electron by giving a potential difference applying an electric field then this electron moves along the electric field moves sorry opposite to electric field that is it is affected by electric field and it moves with a drift velocity and it gives electric current so this behaves like this and give us the electric current here when we apply plus minus the electric current start flowing this electron moves in this direction which electron is this this one or this one so far we have learned that this electron which is moving is this one okay in metals what happens that this electron will leave the orbit as soon as we apply electric field this electron will leave the orbit and start moving start moving that means the same electron which was doing the work of valency is now on the application of electric field start making the current so this is making the current this is making the current this is making the current this is not making the current this energy is too low so we see that up to this much have of this 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 electron and electrons having energy this much all these electrons up to this that means let me make it very clear all the electrons in this range they are conducting so this is conduction band but these electrons are not conducting they are doing valency what about this electron this was doing valency when electric field is applied it started making the current so it is in both the ranges and this i denote all these electrons are doing the job of valency so this is valence band so this much is valence band this much is conduction band again this is conduction band and this is valence band where is the energy gap no energy gap rather negative energy gap rather we will call it there is a overlap remember this word overlap and all the electron which are in this overlap region they can they are able to do both the work originally they are doing the valency work whenever there is a need for flow of current they will come and start moving in the electric field and they will form flow of current and that is why a metal is never short of electrons whenever we want to flow current through it and that is why it is a good conductor and what are such material metals so in metals 
this is energy bond graphs this is energy band graph for semiconductors and this is energy band graph for insulators so we have insulators semiconductors and this explain on the basis of energy graphs now after this uh, we will study another type of uh, classification a very pure semiconductor and impure semiconductors and how is that impurity how we are using that impurity for our benefit so that classification of pure that is intrinsic semiconductors and impure that is extrinsic semiconductors that we will do in the next class